Just a heads up, this video does contain some Aussie bogan French. Put your earphones in now. Hopefully the wind's not too, we should slow down, we'll slow right down. And check out the, what's, what's my body fat right now? What's my body fat? What's the body fat you reckon? Let us know down below. Adelaide versus Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Darwin, Hobart, etc., etc. Best place to live in Australia. I can speak from personal experience. My name's Harley Johnson, aka Duran Rider. I'm 46 very, very soon, and I've lived all over Australia in the major cities except for Tasmania because I did marry my cousin and I was the. Uh, anyway, haven't been in Tassie, well, haven't been that back there. Anyway, that's, that's a long story, but. Um, Adelaide, <laughs> it doesn't get any better. If Adelaide didn't exist, I wouldn't live in Australia. I live in Thailand, probably Chiang Mai, Thailand, or the Philippines, or Malaysia, Vietnam. I'd bounce around the SE, SE Asia because I find the people there so amazing, so lovely, in 99% general terms, and the vegan food, and the cycling. I mean, Chiang Mai. I mean, you know, talk about, you know, climbing city. Thailand in general, Asia in general, climbing city, Taiwan, great place to live. Um, China even, Xiamen, all right? So it's, uh, Joe from China Cycling talks about it. Adelaide's just killed. Why is Adelaide the best place in the world to live in a Western city? And I've lived many places around the world, North America, you know, and I've got friends all over. And they've come to Adelaide, they're like, Harley, you're all right. If you know, you know, okay, Adelaide, is the spot if you're into fitness being lean like lean lean all right if you're into being lean adelaide's the place in the western world otherwise just go straight to thailand se asia chiang mai etc mountains so if you're into lean lifestyle running fitness cycling fitness adelaide's the place you know elite level especially nowhere in the world has produced more elite level cyclists from bmx to downhill to cross country to road to track Masters, Paralympians, Adelaide is the king and queen, undisputed producer city of the world. And people are like, oh, what about Belgium? Uh, <laughs> Belgium's not a city. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm living in Belgium, it's not a city, okay? Adelaide is a city and has produced more top level cyclists than anywhere. Okay, you don't like cycling? Fair enough. Clear off the video now. <laughs> Uh, it's just, Adelaide's just so easy, even live homeless, you could live here, you could literally live in that bushes right there, near the airport, and you'd be fine, no one will care, alright, just clean up your mess, no good, no good to go. There's so many homeless options in, Austra in South Australia, I mean the price of rent is getting insane, alright, so why pay rent, just do homeless, just camp out, it's not legal, just don't leave a mess, no one cares, there's, there's so many homeless people here around. Um, you know, so that option is there. Uh, you know, and <laughs> I've been homeless before, so I can speak from experience. I've camped out in places like this, and it's fucking awesome. I love it. So don't think, you know, people, oh, I've got this financial pressure, stress of rent. Just camp out, man. Camp out. What do you need? Sleeping bag, baby. Get that from eBay, cheap near new. Or for a rich yuppie like me, whatever. It's just, you know, it's, you can do it. It's so easy. Let me just pause the video. We'll cross this. I know a guy, I see him. You know how the universe works, you see these random people everywhere. I see this guy, I won't mention his name, but I see him around. And he collects cans and bottles, he also collects the welfare pension, disability support pension, which is about, what is it, 800 bucks a fortnight or something like that. Plus he gets about 100 to 200 dollars a day collecting cans and bottles, recycling. He works for it. He does 10 hour days, I just see him, he just, he cranks the fucking miles, man. He sleeps anywhere. He sleeps anywhere. So he's making you know, around $1,500 Australian. Unfortunately, he's a bit of a silly boy and he doesn't use the money wisely. You know, but there's options out there, people. So it's crazy, all right? You know, I've made $100 a day from collecting cans. $200 a day, you can do that. If you really want to be fit and lean, 200 bucks a day, you will get so fit and lean doing that. Now, Melbourne, it's just, just crazy. The restrictions, the lockdowns. You've got Danny Andrews. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Sydney, it's just like stress kidney. Sydney, it's beautiful Bondi Beach. If you're into, you know, Bondi Beach and stuff, visiting for the day is cool. And Vaucluse is nice to ride around. Vaucluse, great place to be homeless. So I'd, I'd rate 
yeah, Vaucluse, probably one of the best places in Australia to live. Um, if you're not interested in cycling, you just want to chill out on world-class beaches in the most, probably the most expensive real estate or one of in the world, Vaucluse is the place to live for free. So much camping there, showers, facilities, don't make a mess, be respectful of the environment and locals. It's a great place to be. So just move straight to Vaucluse, Sydney. World class. I mean, I've, I've been homeless in Vaucluse for the Daily Mail article. Google it up. Do you write a homeless Daily Mail? Uh, <laughs> I can... You know what I mean? What sort of life quality do you want to have, man? Adventure life for me. As Helen Keller said, life's a daring adventure or it's nothing. Uh, so you got that. Um, homeless in the world, Clues, homeless in Adelaide. You know, it is very expensive in Australia to rent now. It's pretty, pretty unfortunate for a lot of people out there. So I'll just say live in the car, live homeless, you know. But then again, cars is like registration and petrol. Cars make you fat versus fit. I'd say fuck the car off, have a bike. You know what I mean? Just have a bike, have a bivy bag, have a stash in the bushes. You're good to go, mate. You know, charge up your phone at the local library. Don't make a mess. Provide value. You're good to go. Um, so yeah, Australia, mate. It's a great place to bicycle, bike pack. A lot of expanse, beautiful nature, beautiful wilderness. Very, very expensive if you want to live the mainstream life, or very, very cheap if you're just happy to uh, yeah you know, do doing a lot of protocols. You can live on five bucks a day. In Australia, 10 bucks a day in Australia, easy, easy, or cheaper even, you know? Uh, <laughs> there's no need to pay rent, and uh, camping out in the fresh air, can't beat it, for health and grounding on, on the earth. Uh, so what can we say? But yeah, Adelaide, man, like, if you know, you know. I can speak from experience, all right? I've traveled all over Australia with my bicycle, lived in the places, and the crime in Adelaide Whilst it's getting worse, according to my police officer friends and family, it's still pretty good. You know, it's, it's not like Sydney and Melbourne and Brisbane and the Gold Coast and North Queensland, where it's just getting out of hand with youth crime and stuff like that, unfortunately. So, you know, but it's like, you know, like I ride this bike here, it looks ugly, no one's really gonna steal it. I park anywhere I want, it's just, you know, basic lock. No one's gonna, really gonna steal this. If they do, well, it'll cost me a few hundred bucks. So, this is. There's, there's, there's just different ways to live, people. Different ways to live. Hopefully, I've been sputtering spit over my spit all over my lips. Too much nullable white. There's different ways to live out there, kids and girls, guys. If you like my adventure style, then join my coaching group, doingrod.com, and I can walk you through it day by day what you need to do. Because it can be lonely out there. You know, people like you do something and then you feel like totally isolated. If you've got someone like me, Uncle Harles crazy your crazy uncle eccentric harley they called me crazy when i had no money they got then i got money then they called me eccentric still crazy as a banana still bananas not nuts just bananas and uh you got someone like me in your corner the mouth from the south do to give you the pep talk anytime you want it doingride.com coaching group i'll tell you the exact truth on what you need to do if your health and fitness goals are there you know like we're talking to a guy today he's like, i want to get i want to i want to get fucking shredded mate i want to be fucking ripped and you know, I say, okay, what's your goals? What do you do? What's your training like, my like, dude? Come on, man, that's not enough. All right, we need obsessive dedication. If you want obsessive, dedicated results, you need obsessive, dedicated dedication. All right, dedicated dedication is that a term? You know what I mean? Like, it's like we're, we're all like that. We all we all want something for nothing, or we want the max for the min. And yeah, there's there's a there's a balance there, but really, like. It's about putting in the fucking hard work in the right fucking direction. I'm going down this road here, all right? And I'm about to turn to a big headwind. I'm going to fucking put it up in the 400 watts, 450 watts in this cargo bike. Just flexing that in that headwind. Just because, you know, it feels good afterwards. But you put in the work, people, and you get a different lifestyle. You get different results. And so many people I, know, I see do put in the work, but unfortunately, they're going in the wrong direction. They're getting scammed. You know, paying 200 bucks for a wax chain or putting their kid in a private school and the, so there's more drugs in the private school than the public school. It's just people making decisions because the marketing was so good and sexy. Well, that's the way to go. I'm not going to listen to a crazy guy on a bike. What would he know? Look at my lifestyle quality, all right? Look how happy the people in my life look to be around me versus previous lives or future lives or whatever, okay? And for me, nothing's more important than your health and your life quality, all right? I mean, if you don't have your health, you don't have your life quality. So your health's number one. 
So if you're living in a place that stresses you out, that's dangerous, that's polluted, that's like, nah, 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 it's not supporting your goals, then that's your choice. You have a choice to move. Now, unless you're, maybe you're, then again, maybe you're in South Sudan in the refugee camp, and if you leave the camp, you're going to get, you know, it's not going to be good, good consequences. I get that. So, yeah, you're right. I am wrong in that regard. But for the most people watching this video, they don't live in South Sudan refugee camp. They have, you know, a bit more freedom and opportunity than the average South Sudanese refugee person, okay? So, why waste another day living in a place you don't want to live? You know, if your parents or your partner or the kids or whatever, like, that... They're not going to be happy, all right? Your kids aren't going to be happy if you're not happy. You need to make changes. All right? Otherwise, your kids will become entitled brats, depressed, and they'll probably end up hating you. And you'll be like, damn, I put in 18, 20 years, all that work, and my kids fucking hate me. I feel like a failure. And yeah, I can relate from what I see my friends go through. So you always want to put your health first. And when you're a healthier person, you're a happier person, and that spreads around, you know? Spreads around people in your life, and your life quality is better. You know, that's just a ramble. That's the rave. If you do want more advice, join my coaching group. Life's freedom, man. So many people put themselves in this financial prison, this mental prison, this physical prison, because they're living up to these social fucking narratives, man, that are set out to just fuck you over pretty much and make the other person a lot more richer and you know, financially wealthier. So be careful what you buy into. But again, it's, people are so easy to fool because our egos are like, well, I don't want to admit that I've been making mistakes for the last month, week, 10 years, 20 years. No, no, no. Duran Rider, fuck you. Fuck you, Duran Rider. <laughs> you know? I get it. I don't take it personal. Fuck, man. What sort of coach would I be if I took all the, the little tiny arrows shot my way or whatever? You know? I'd be bleeding to death. Henry Rollins quote. You know? It's just like, life's so short, man. You know, you could be dead any day. Why waste another day in self-doubt Living in the places you don't like to live. Fuck that, man. Fuck that.